Now on CBS 4 News. Keeping your toothbrush clean. Do you really need something special to keep germs from lurking on your toothbrush? Live at 11. This is your local news station. CBS 4 News. Well, store shelves are filled with products promising to protect you from germs lurking on your toothbrush. But are these products really worth it, and do you even need them in the first place? Dr. Malika Marshall sorts it all out. Ann Thomas doesn't want to take any chances getting sick. So once a week, she sanitizes her toothbrush with these cleaning tablets. It seems to make the toothbrush look a little bit cleaner. With antibacterial soaps, wipes, toothpaste, even toys, an increasingly germ-phobic America spends upwards of $16 billion a year trying to prevent infection. And now there are a number of new products that use heat, steam, even cleansing bubbles to kill the germs lurking on your toothbrush bristles. It sanitizes using germicidal ultraviolet light. In just 10 minutes, the maker of the violet sanitizer, Jonathan Pinsky, says up to 99.9% .9 of the germs are zapped. You want peace of mind when it comes to good health and good hygiene. It's no urban myth. Every time you flush the toilet, doctors say dangerous bacteria like Salmonella and E. coli can spew about your bathroom. There's also concern that family members can spread colds if toothbrushes are stored too close together. But while company studies show these products can and do eliminate germs, local dentists say it's unnecessary. As far as sterilizing a toothbrush every single day and it being, uh, there's no clinical evidence that proves that a non-clean toothbrush causes dental disease or bodily disease. Depending on the sanitizer, prices range anywhere from $5 to $50. But experts say there are a few simple steps that can help rid your toothbrush of germs, rinse it thoroughly, air dry it, store your toothbrush in an upright position, and replace it every three months. For Health Watch, I'm Dr. Malika Marshall, CBS 4 News.